I was watching yesterday a report about universal credit in England and I mean I get most of my information from YouTube but I do try to balance it with things that I do believe and things I don't believe and I was really upset by a 19 year old boy who was living on the street and he tried to get somewhere to live he couldn't get a bank account couldn't get any ID and couldn't get anywhere to live 19, 19 year old I wonder if he got any help now I didn't want to do any political stuff but <clears throat> things are actually coming to a head with Liz Truss or Rishi Sunak becoming Prime Minister and what it's going to mean for people living in England or Britain, UK. There was a woman standing outside the job centre who tries to help people and this kid came along the street and stopped. The only thing this woman can really do is offer a listening ear and a shoulder to cry on, both of which he used. He talked for a little while about his plight and then continued back along the street because he's not going to get any help. Also in this reportage was a woman that had a son and she was looking for somewhere to live too. The mother of this woman was convinced that all foreigners come and get a house straight away, payments and everything. And I'll tell you a little bit about being a foreigner. I've done it five times and one of those times has been in England. When you go to a foreign country, if you're lucky you've got friends or at least somewhere to stay. And then you go looking for a job, you get all your paperwork sorted out. Now you can't even do that. As an English person, you can't go to Europe and just get another job. As indeed, Europeans can't go to England and just get a job. So it's also a lot more complicated these days than it was. So you look for jobs and they should be any job. It doesn't matter what it is because you need money to stay. So you take all that work that the local people don't want and that's what foreigners do. Once they get themselves established, they work themselves up the ladder just exactly the same as anybody else would do in that country and it's exactly what I've been doing so you might look at me as being a foreigner and I've got somewhere to live but I worked for it and I suffered for it so it's a shame that the woman felt that her daughter was being disadvantaged by foreigners coming into the country because she's not but it's a myth that the Tories like to keep up because now there's no foreigners nobody from Europe coming but there's such a shortage of workers now they're looking in the Philippines India and Pakistan for people to come and work So what was the point in leaving the European Union? Inflation in Britain is about well, something over 10%. Next month expecting to go up to about 13, 14. And next year close to 20. What do you think your government's doing about this? What is Liz Trust promising? In 
1977 I think it was the silver jubilee the Queen's silver jubilee and <coughs> they had all the street parties I'm sure some people will still remember that and I was proud to be British I was 18 I think at that time I went to watch England playing cricket against the Australians in 1976 it was good to be British, it was, I was proud to be British. And now I'm just ashamed. The British are always going on about the Nat National Health Service as well, like it's the only one in the world. When I was in Spain, I spent three was three times in hospital in Spain. And I got looked after really well. And it was quick and easy. What does your National Health Service do? How overworked is it? How close to collapse? Who are all these people queuing at Dover? And Malaga complaining about the authorities when it was your government that put put you in that situation in the first place how many of these people are leavers and if there are any leavers why aren't they staying in England and your crap infested beaches to support your own economy instead of taking your money out of the country and if they're remainers why are you complaining at the airports or at the Dover authorities or at the French passport people go to your government go to your government and complain to them Do you leave us know how difficult it's made for people, British people, that live in Europe? Because you think Spain is backward, or Germany is full of Nazis. You've not only curtailed your own rights, but the rights of me, for instance, and thousands of other people. Have you stopped to think that somebody in Poland or Romania, those countries that you so much hate, have got more rights than you have? So let's go on to the bonfire of EU regulations. Both Sunak and uh, Truss are talking about this great bonfire that they're going to make. All that does is move Britain away from, further away from the European Union, which is going to make it more difficult for you to trade. And bearing in mind that's the biggest economic area, maybe not in the world, but certainly one of the biggest, and it's right next door. I'd love to sit in a conversation with somebody that insisted they wanted to get their, what's it, their sovereignty back. <laughs> Never lost your sovereignty. What workers' rights are going to be lost as a result of Liz Truss? Do you even know what you're heading to? What are you going to blame it on then? You can't blame it on British people or European people anymore. What are you going to blame it on then? Gosh, that's a strange one. Two apples grown together. I'm going to try one of these this time. 
I just want to find one that's nice. hole in it though. I don't like the looks of that. It's a good apple. At the end of the day, you people will argue black is white. So really, I can only appeal to the other, what was it, 48% of the vote, the people that voted, a quarter of the country. So you can only appeal to three quarters of the country. And I mean, gosh, three quarters of the country can't even get out on the street, can't even bring this Tory government down. Most. I never wanted to do any of these sort of videos, but it's preying on my mind just recently. I've also wondered, along with several other people that I've noticed on YouTube, whether the Tories really want to win the next election, because they've made such a mess. I just wonder when the National Health Service is going to break down, transport services, care service, I just wonder when that's all going to break down and whether it's a deliberate deliberate ploy by the Tories to make everything so difficult because they know they're not going to win so they're just making things difficult for the next government and I find that disgusting that they've run the country down just in the hope that they'll get re-elected in another few years time people have to remember this. That's why they were allowed to lie and mislead when they bring their manifestos out. Because it's down to the voter to remember that. Remember levelling up. Remember high, what was it, high pay, no, high wage, whatever it was. Economy that Boris Johnson kept yapping on about and all the wire suppressing pay for the working people 